hello everyone welcome to wix ideas and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can reload your wix website now one of the reasons why you probably want to reload your website is because you want to run a piece of code after the user has logged in i'm going to give you a live example of that situation right now i have a button element here that is supposed to change to log in when i'm not logged in and change to profile when i'm logged in now the only problem is when i log in the page does not reload and so my code does not work so when i go ahead and choose an account and i try to log into this page you can see that this button has not changed to profile yet but let me go ahead and refresh this page and now after i have refreshed this page it's going to go ahead and change to profile now this is not something i want my site users to experience so what i want to do is when they log in this should automatically work and there are two solutions i'm going to provide in this tutorial and one of them is by using wix location and the second one is by using the wix member api all right so now before we get into this tutorial please don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and also don't forget to turn on your bell notification to be the first to know of amazing videos like this now let's jump into our editor now as you can see for my editor this is the button element that i'm using and this is what i want it to look like when i am logged in now let's click on that button and go over to your dev mode and turn that on as you can see this button element is on my header and that means i'm going to be working on this code on the masterpage.js tab the first part i'm going to show you is how you can enable this feature to work when you log in using the wix members api which is a more recent api that replaced the wix users so let's go ahead and import our wix members now I'm going to go ahead and import the authentication for the Wix members. So the authentication is going to check if I am logged in and it has other functions too, but it's going to check when I have logged in. So now let's go ahead and use the authentication to check when I have logged in. So let's go ahead and use the unlogging. And then this function is going to check if I have logged in. And when I have logged in, I'm going to go ahead and perform an action or check a condition. And now this is the button that I want to change this label. So let's use this as the profile button. Let's go ahead and maximize and copy this button ID. Now, most importantly, we're going to go inside of our login function. And then we're going to say that after we have logged in, we want to change the label of our button element. Let's use a selector and change the label to say my profile. So now this condition is only going to run when you log in and that means that if you're logged out or not or whatever it's not going to work until you are logged in but let's say you want to check if the user is logged in so let's also do that for authentication and say logged in now we're going to use the ternary operation to check this condition so if the user is logged in we're going to change use this label here or else if the user is not logged in we're going to ask the user to log in amazing now let's publish this and then let's take a look at our live site and see if this actually works the way we want it to work now here you can see that when we log out it reloads the page and refreshes the page and changes these buttons to log in and also changes this one to log in and here if we go ahead and say let's log in for example and i choose an account now after i have logged in it's going to change the button element to my profile now you can add this on login to any part of your website it doesn't have to be on the header alone you can add it to any page that you're having this situation now most importantly i'm going to show you how you can actually refresh your page when you have logged in now the next part of this tutorial is where we actually use the wix location to reload the page that we're currently on and how we can do this is first of all by going to import wix location and this is the library that is going to help us to reload our page now let's say you have a lot of operations going on on your page and you don't want to go through the struggle of always having to add all of the content that you want this to happen that to happen and you just want to refresh the entire page then you can get rid of this section and inside of our authentication.onlogin which is to check when the user has just logged in we want to go ahead and use the wix location.2 in order to navigate to that same page that we're currently on and the way to do that is to use the wix location.url so the wix location.url gives us the url of the current page and that means we're navigating to the current page when we just logged in now let's go ahead and refresh this page and then test this out so i've just logged out of this page and i'm going to log back into the page now let's take a look at what happens after i log back into the page 
now you can see that after i've logged back to the page the page has just refreshed and then it has changed this button value to what it was supposed to be now let's take a look at what happens when i get rid of this section so let's go ahead and publish again and then save and then let's take a look at how it will behave when i go back to the published page so let's log out then let's try and log back into the page so although it checks if i'm logged in or not but it doesn't do that immediately and you can see that i'm currently logged in but this has not changed but when i go ahead and refresh this on my own you can see that it's going to change back to what it's supposed to be but placing this thing back here has made it possible to reload this page immediately after i have logged in let's try this one more time and take a look at how this works so let's go ahead and log out which refreshes the page and then let me try again and log back into the page and let's take a look at how that works Now as you can see after you log in in a very short seconds it refreshes the page and gives you what exactly what you're looking for so this is how you refresh or reload your page in wix and you have also seen how you can use the wix members to update a section of your code when you have logged in maybe a function or just a simple line of code that you want to update when you log in i hope this video was useful for you if it was do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel Give this video a like and I will see you in the next tutorial.